welcome back to an episode of we stand right next to our trusted car and there's something nice that happened at least in the last one took a little bit of time but anyway the rocket silo is now finished which means we are now ready for outer space and let's hope we don't need to do anything <laughs> else with it that's too complicated uh well i could do a little bit of a standard research like this one here yeah let's do a little bit of standard research because nothing else is necessary and let's see what can we build how do we do this uh, there's one up here and there's another one down there this is the uh oh look at that the portable fusion reactor totally forgot about that uh right that's nice uh poison capsule that's also nice well i hmm. a combat shotgun how do you even shoot this stuff uh reduce the movement ah, it's like a grenade it has to be thrown like this one this one this one defenders sure 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 and i also need to build the rocket silo where is the rocket silo by the way it is uh this is an intermediate product and this is the production stuff huh oh this is the rocket silo right so this one needs an overall of resources which i already prepared beforehand thank goodness and i just need to place it and once it's done we have to make a few of those uh, stage pods let's see i actually wanted to pick up some items from down here uh, because i have no idea how many of them i need or not 4.6 4.5 yeah i just hope that's enough to get through the night because once the silo is powered it takes a ton of energy right uh where am i going to place that i mean it would be nice to place it at a nice location that's somewhere over here right it needs again tons of stuff uh not enough ingredients sure the building itself uh does it have to be made by hand i don't think so maybe we have to make it with a uh, 80 sec okay 30 seconds craft time the assembler there we go let's just make it in an assembler like that uh only thing we need to do now is get can i actually ah, i can't change the recipe from the farm why didn't i just hmm. <laughs> i mean look at that i have everything prepared at the edge of the world somewhere and this one is supposed to be a rocket silo bam uh then we are going to do well, filter inserters are not necessary. I want a fast inserter to make that work. Do I have a fast inserter? Few. Let's see. Bam. It may take a, a little bit of time until it's done. So let's just get all of the concrete and place all of the concrete there. Done. Uh, all of the steel and all of the steel. Done. All of the motors and all of the motors. Done all of the processing units and well four additional ones done now let's let it uh, finish the 100 pipes and then uh, the whole thing is pretty much done nice so then the rocket silo is built ah total raw five hours what <laughs> so if you want to do it by hand it may take you a little bit of time so you need to be really good at uh, building this automatic and increasing the speed of everything if you want to do a speed run of that because i've seen someone actually finish the game in one and a half hours and it is absolutely insane well at least i have seen that happen i just looked at the first few minutes and i was like whoa this is how you play this then um really impressed anyway i have the rocket set on where is this thing isn't this supposed to be there Looks kind of trashy. Whoa. Yeah, where am I going to place that? Somewhere over here? Somewhere down there? I mean, this is a very nice location. This is somewhere by the sea. Uh, I mean, it looks neat if it's placed somewhere up here, but this is somewhere empty or whatever. I mean, I kind of like... Wait a minute. Could I place it maybe in here? Come on. Ah! Oh! Ooh. Really? There's one bit of pipe in the way. <laughs> Come on, it would have put it perfectly in there, like a cat. Oh, what a snug fit. Just poof. But no, no, the silo's in the way. Yeah, the silo. 
The other stuff's in the way. There we go. Let's place this here. That looks like a nice, nice area to be. So, this needs to be powered as usual. Let's power it with a, this, because this is enough to power one of those facilities. Um, auto launch with cargo. What do you mean? Uh -huh. So, uh, the rocket control units. These were the ones that I wanted to craft uh, on my own, though. So, yeah, how many do we have? Uh, rocket parts. Huh. How many of them do we actually need in order to make this? Oh, we need to make a ton of them, right? Because the rocket progress goes up by a few percentages. You got to be kidding me. Okay, so we need to get a uh, rocket part making facility in... Yeah, no, wait a minute. Um, we need to supply it with rocket fuel, with low density structures, and with rocket control units. The rocket control units take a bit of time, I think. Uh, so let's place this one up here. Uh, this one is kind of placed at the wrong position. Was it? No. It was the right position. Sweet. That one goes up here. This one is, of course, not powered anymore. Then, uh, this will be the these things. Rocket control units. Yeah, they need processing units and speed modules. So, I do have those, though. I do have some of them. Now, it's only a question of how many do we need. Because this is basically what's in here. And, uh... That one can be taken out, right? So, it's done. Um, we need low density structures, a lot of them. And we needed uh, the uh, fuel... Uh, and then the other stuff, yeah. Uh, the speed things and more blue stuff. Let's just get all of those. Right. Right, 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 right. Now, what about my rocket fuel making station, which was somewhere over here? Right. We have 104 units because it's still... It's not going. Wait a minute. Why is it not going? It needs solid fuel. The solid fuel needs heavy oil. And the heavy oil is... Drained. What? Okay. First time that happened. Interesting. This one has a full output, as always. They always have a full output. But for some reason, everything that got sunk in this one... Fluid ingredient shortage. Fluid ingredient shortage. Unbelievable. I'm using up too much heavy oil. Great. Why is the stop that 104 rocket fuel parts are, are actually enough? And it always goes up by a f like 10% every time you make those rocket parts. <sighs> Let's hope so. Right. These things are going to be placed in there. Uh, where's the rocket fuel? I didn't take the rocket fuel with me. Ingenious. Absolutely ingenious. So let's place all of the uh, interesting stuff in there. This will... Let's get some research going at least. So... There we go. Did I really just forgot the rocket fuel? There. They kind of look like little injectors. Not like rocket fuel tanks. More like rocket fuel needles. And in there it goes. 32. Okay. Wait a minute. Uh, let's take this chest and uh, place this in here. And this inserter. And this one gets the rocket fuel in. Uh, like that one. And like that one. That one goes away. This one has, of course, to be powered a wee bit. Nice. And this one will be powered with this stuff. And I only have four speed modules. What's going on? Uh huh. What happened to that? Electronic circuits, whatever. That is weird. Uh, okay, how long does this assembler actually take? And how long does it take me to make another assembler? Wait, I only have one, two, three. Why can't I make another assembler? This one. Ah, automation free. Yes. Uh, the speed is much greater, exactly what I need, and it needs more speed modules. <laughs> Wait. Uh, 
And let's just take all of the speed modules out of there real quick. And this is also necessary. So, if this one gets placed in there, then what, ha what happens? One. Uh-huh. We may need a few more than just one. Um, yeah, I need plastics in order to make that. And I need advanced circuits. <sighs> Iron, copper, and plastics. I can stock up on plastics. That's a lot. Um, I cannot stock up on as much iron though because that is a wee bit iffy um there we go uh let's make this one by hand right so in order to get this one done uh i think i'm gonna build another assembly line like that the thing is oh i also need a four or maybe i'm just going to direct some of this stuff around i think i think uh, yeah, I think I can just get rid of a few of them. Uh, all of this which is down here, I can redirect it a little bit. I mean, most of the buildings aren't getting powered with resources anyway. Uh, that could definitely work. Anyway. Any <laughs> I love that word. Anyway. Uh, I need some copper and some of this stuff. And ah, uh, that one is probably congested. That's also congested. And I need a con I need a congested copper line. Where is a congested copper line? There, this one is congested. Perfect. Uh, let's just make one of those. And we be wait. I have a building that makes. Hmm, where is this thing? That makes plastic bar a uh, plastic bars. Yeah, plastic bars like this one. 1.6k, that might be enough. Right. Okay, next one is of course more copper. More copper, more copper, more copper, more copper. Uh, I, could I could just take the inputs of this thing, split it a little to the side, and everything would be great. I uh, don't need to build it by hand. Yeah, let's just speed it up a little bit. Um, we are going to uh, take a copper and an iron line input like this. Then, uh, I also need to get the power running up there. Like so. And this, for some reason, was... Ah. Not as well placed. Uh, that one could be both, to be honest. Could be both. Yeah, we cannot direct it, so we need a filter inserted for that. Uh, one of them up here, one of them there. This one will filter the iron, and this one will filter the... Didn't I just... Yeah, this other one is the copper. Come on, let's just take this one. Wait, this is copper. Wait, and this is iron. There we go. Now it's working. So we got a copper and an iron input. And I only need to make some of these uh, electricity modules out of that. So, electricity modules are... Something like that. And let's just... Build something like that. Uh, this will be the copper wire with absolutely no current whatsoever. That one goes up here. Uh, this will be the electronic circuit stuff. And this one goes in here. And this one goes up here. Then. I already have a decent amount of rocket control units. What happened to them? Ah, uh, very interesting. Wait a minute. There. I need this stuff. Uh, this stuff needs sulfuric acid. Ah, no, 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 no. Okay, uh, the blue stuff I'm gonna get somewhere else. Mm, that's just the thing. I just have to jumpstart the product. Video of that. Yeah, I need greens and I need reds. Yeah, exactly. I need greens and I need reds. So, uh, let's make ourselves a red thingy in here real quick. And reds. Wait, this is the wrong location. This one has to be placed right there. Okay, uh, this one goes up here, this one goes up there. We need more power of it, like so. 
and then we are going to take the green in here and the red in there and with a chest it's going to be filled i hope uh, actually we, we could try that oh i misplaced it i have to move this further to the right i believe anyway uh this is going to be red stuff and plastics yeah awful lot of plastics Right, so yeah, this one is now producing things. This one is now producing things, a lot of things. And I couldn't really think, um, couldn't really finish my thought on a very interesting design, which is basically just a chest in the center uh, and like assemblers around it. Maybe even, no, you can only have four directions anyway. So you have um, four assemblers around it and all four of them are, are producing things and placing them in the same chest in order to make everything work. Maybe I can use a certain uh, network in order to make it not congest. So there's always one stack of every item that you need in here. Another doubt. Uh, in this case, we can uh, maybe get the move this a little bit sideways, like this one here, so that there is uh, always a little bit of an opening for additional items to come in uh, and to exit the whole stuff maybe even move this further uh out so that there's room for a long inserter so that you can uh, put stuff in and out and whatnot but anyway this would be a very 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 interesting setup for quick access uh and whatnot but you need <laughs> oh that's not possible you can only put things in the chest you cannot put things uh or like yeah, how would you do this? Um, oh, I, I know. Oh, this is this is really good. You have a this is a, this is amazing right now. So you have uh, four uh, additional recipes, right? Like this one, uh, and like this one, and like <laughs> I call it the swastika solution. The um, <laughs> I should actually try this out. So you have four different recipes. You just put every raw material in. The inserters will take whatever they need in order to facilitate the, the recipe, right? Uh, and in the end, uh, you end up with another chest or four other chests, really. Uh, this one, this one, this one, and this one. Uh, and uh, the whole thing just works. It's unbelievable. I, I, I think it would actually, it, it, it may actually work. Um, let's just make it so that it does not look as much swastika. <laughs> uh, let's make this one up here this one down there uh maybe this one up here and this one down there so uh it is somewhat symmetric and it also reaches towards the center this is unbelievable i just figured out maybe one of the bestest uh of the best solutions to automate stuff you just select whatever recipe you want the stuff goes and that's it and the only thing you need to do uh is make sure that you take the items from this chest and place it in the center maybe what you can do then uh, is um, make it that the um, uh, where's the where's the network? Uh, the, 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 the. Uh, you need a robot port next to it. This one here could take a little while to research the whole thing though. But this one here, the passive provider chest, right? <laughs> so you let the robots take the items from the set uh, from these parts here, place them in the center, rinse and repeat until and the whole thing is done for. That would be amazing. Uh... That would really be amazing. So you don't need to go like this way to the right, left, right, left, right, left. Da, 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 no, you just go towards the center and then boom, it sorts itself out. That's the idea. And if you make the assembly machine fast enough, uh, maybe it also works. And this is also a very nice thing that you can copy and paste very easily. Um, but yeah, if you maybe stretch it a bit um, so you can have an underground tunneling in here. So that, uh, wait a minute, uh, let's take this one and move it, wait a minute, uh, one, two, three, that's that. So uh, this one right here, wait a minute, takes the item from that, um, no, this one has to be a long inserter, but I still don't quite know how you would make it so that there's, um, an underground belt, uh, or belt thing coming up here. Ah, you can't grab far enough. And uh, that's the issue. So you need those robots in order to make this work. 
can't just go diagonal on this one. Right, we have tons of uh, these right now. Let's keep that one going. Huh. That's a very simple solution as well. Let's keep that one. And this is just there for design. <laughs> Let's keep that. Unbelievable. <sighs> Unbelievable. Right. The micro thingies and the speed stuff. The speed stuff needed... Oh, wait a minute. I have a lot of them right now. So that's uh, definitely not as difficult to do. I need to make the speed modules myself, wasn't it? Yeah, I need to make the speed modules myself. It just takes a bit of time. Well, actually, I don't need to make them myself. I just... Uh... <laughs> uh... Ay, 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 ay. Don't even need to make them myself. So... Let's just take uh, one of these things. Take that, place that in here, make it a speed module. Bam. And this one will just supply another chest, which is down here. And I'm also running out of chests right now. That's not good. That should be okay. Good. How long does it take until the whole thing is... Oh. Uh, like that and like that. Ah. Righty. So, and the processor uh, needs not only that, but wait a minute. In this case, uh, couldn't I just make another one like that? I think so. Okay, copy and paste, and... Uh... Oh, yeah, now we have a little problem. This one is full now. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so let's take this one away uh, because there has to be a chest that just sucks up all of the items and uh, this one will be filled like that and again uh -huh. but this one is going to place all of its ingredients not on the outer sides here but on the inner sides it doesn't really matter where you take the items from or where you place them the thing is yeah it can go both directions uh, but you can just dump all of your items in the center point, which is very easy to do. So you don't have to select the right item. Uh, but in this case, the product will always be available in a specific chest, right? Ah, oh, I really have to test this out. This is so sweet, so easy, so simple. Love it. Um, anyway, this one will be a uh, second uh, speed thing, Maji. Let's make that one work, and maybe we can just uh, halve that a little bit. There we go. So, let's just let this one uh, go on a little bit. And place all of the remaining speed modules in here. Nice. In this case, I could have just taken the whole thing and just moved it down here, but there's not enough ore here. I could, oh, hmm, maybe put a splitter up here. Move the whole thing down, connect it, get it automated, be done with it. Very good idea, very good idea. Um, hmm. Okay, wait a minute, I got a nice idea there as well. I can just place this there. Uh, take another inserter, place this here. Take maybe a long inserter, uh, place this one right there. And for some reason this one is not part. Right, this one goes up here. Everything is fine. Perfect. It is kind of like a distorted solution of that. This one just looks much nicer. Much, much, much nicer. Right. Uh, and then we're going to place all of these things in here. And it can just pick uh, whatever it needs. Right? Simple, simple, simple solution. Um, yeah, there's just not as much red coming through here. And it may take... Longer for the red to accumulate, and uh, yeah, in the end, what happens is the output is split between this one and this one, and it kind of takes twice as long in order to be built. Yeah. What about the green stuff? Um, there seems to be a lot in here, which does not seem to be used all the time. Wait a minute. Uh, wait, what? Five and five. Okay. So five and five. This one makes a certain amount. Uh, this one makes a certain amount. But 
how many do you need in order to make one of the red things? Uh, two. Okay. I think I can just have a second version of that go around. But this is the thing. You have just this one, this one, this one. This setup would be ideal. Uh, would be ideal. Unbelievable. Right, uh, let's place another assembler somewhere over there. Uh, maybe place this one up there, like that. And uh, copy and paste this one. What does it need? Plastics. Right. This one gets all of the plastics. Oh, this one also gets all of the plastics. Then I'm going to take the... The green stuff needs more... Cabling. Okay. The cabling can't be produced quick enough, so that means we need more of that cabling. Uh, Alright. So, wait a minute. Uh, that one will be placed like that. This one will be placed like that. And copy and paste. And... Nah, the, 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 hmm. that's wrong. Uh, this one goes... That's the wrong way. This one goes up here and this one has to be can't reach it ah speed it works noise good so this one will bunch up again and it's just the green stuff that i need yeah let's just copy and paste that uh this thing goes down here this one will be placed right like so, and uh... Oh, really no inserters. I'm at a time in the game where it's more difficult to get inserters than anything else. Hmm... Wait. This one is not placed correctly. This one has to be placed like that. Uh, that one goes away. A minute. Uh, goes over there like that. Uh, gets away like that. Nice, nice, that's nice. Right, let's keep it that way. Too many of those wooden poles, but it's a very simple solution. And I kind of ended up not using those too often. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, I think I got a nice solution for that. Uh, that one just tunnels through. Just like so. And... This one picks up all of those. This one goes like that. And this one needs, of course, more plastics. Sure. Ah, the green. Now it's working. Supposedly. Wait. Ah, uh, it's the wrong direction. This way. This one goes in, goes in, goes in, goes around, da 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 da, da. And one speed module maker for the whole thing, it seems. Hmm. And this red stuff is going to be placed in this chest. And uh, this one uses up the greens from... Wait a minute. The greens also have to be placed down there in order to accumulate. But to be honest, this seems to be enough. It's only the additional reds that aren't available. Ah, and then I can use this as some kind of like a buffer for that. Hmm. The other way would be to just place the pole up here uh, and get a second insert. I can't have a second inserter. There we go. Actually, I don't want to get uh, five of them. I just need a few. Wait, no, this one is not working. Uh, long inserter. There. So they can just compete uh, against each other or whatnot. It's a very iffy solution, I know. Uh, but it does get the job somewhat done. Wait, by the way, somewhat. Uh, there's plastics here, there's plastics there, and the rest is just doing its thing. Good. The rest of the base is basically drained by any resources because these ones are at the source of all. And this one gets all of the speed stuff in. Nice. Didn't even finish. That takes ages. 
Okay, wait a minute. If this one takes ages, then I'm just going to copy and paste the whole thing. Hmm. Alright. Let's just make it a wee bit faster. Do I have a few of them in my inventory somewhere? No. Uh-huh. One percent! What on earth? Okay. <clears throat> this, um, that's a problem. Okay, it needs the blue stuff, uh, and it needs an awful lot of speed modules. Uh, the speed modules in this case take a little bit uh, of time to be made. So, let's take them out of this chest. Uh, we really have to automate the whole thing. I can't get it. Wait. Uh, uh, is this going... Well, where are we going? Going down, right. Unbelievable. Wait, this rock's in the way. Unbloody believable. Really? I... Okay. I need another underground thing. Uh, this one goes down, but not up anymore. It needs <laughs> more iron plates. Where do I get them now? Let's see. With a bit of luck, this one is congested. Nice. Is it? Is it? Yes. Perfect. Right. Uh, that's the wrong one. Really? There we go. Simple solution. Now, ah, what does it do? Uh, increase the number of combat robots that can follow you at the same time. Well, wait a minute. Um, how often can they be, or how quickly can they be made, right? What about worker robot speed and other robot speed? Mining productivity would be a good idea, but this one uh, uses a thousand uh, ingredients, and that's very iffy. So let's go with uh, automation. Maybe this uh, will help us in the long run. Oh, wait. This one can only have two units. And it's stacking up. Yes, it is stacking up. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Mm. Okay, maybe I can place another one right in the center. That means I have to take all of these and insert them from the, from the top point. That's not good. Uh, I need a chest from up here, which is... Somewhere over there, uh, and then Sada, which is this one, and so let's place all of that in there. That one goes away, and like that. Where's the? Ha! Huh. Yeah, it was only low density stuff. I thought that there was a second part of the rocket. Shoo! This one goes up here, this one goes down there, uh, and this one needs the blue stuff. Blue stuff, blue stuff, blue stuff, blue stuff. Uh, let's halve this and place that in there. Maybe get a few more of them. And give them the opportunity to all pick this up. Two and... Yeah, that's pretty much it. Right. I could place the blue thingies in there as well. Why do they take so long? That one needs more reds. That one needs more reds. This one is producing reds, but not quick enough. This one is also producing reds, but also not quick enough. So I need speed modules in order to make the whole thing work. <laughs> um, but I do have... Don't, don't I have a speed module making thing with you somewhere? No. I mean, this is the only speed module maker. Uh, the other speed modules are kind of made myself, just to offload something. Um, but speed modules. Speed modules... Would be very easy to do. Nah, come on. Ah, neat. Need... 
In this case, the only thing that I really need to do is to just supply it with tons of items. Hmm. But where's the bottleneck? Um, this one is always getting emptied immediately, so it would be nice to have more of this. This one just takes time. Um, yeah, we are, we just in need of an awful lot of of uh, lot of reds on this one. Okay, wait. I think I'm going to supply it differently now. Let's just take this chest up here, another chest up here. Then make two of those inserters. Wait a minute. That one takes very, very long. So, inserter number one and inserter number two. And we're going to get like... Oh. Half of the plastic in here. Half of the other plastic in there. This one needs, of course, more current. Nice. So, now it gets facilitated with plastics. So, there's no excuse for that one. And automation is ready as well. Yes. Now, what do you need to do in order to make this work? Four speed modules, two assembly machines. I have assembly machines, ton of them. I just need to make sure that I produce these speed modules. And then they are faster and also not as pollutant anymore. Pretty neat. Uh, whoop. Let's take that one. Are all of them used up? Yes. All of them are also working. Hmm. Wait, this one has no power. There we go. 3%! Oh, come on! You got to be kidding me. Why does it take ages? Oh, and I was like, yeah, rocket launch. Let's just facilitate with it. And no, no, no. A hundred times we need to craft this stuff. A hundred times. Okay, divided by three because they are three uh, assemblers, but... Oh, this stuff takes ages. All right. Maybe I can also craft it myself and just increase it a little bit further. Right. The... Uh, what could help me in this regard, right? Efficiency modules? Nah. Speed modules? Yes. Um, Faster logistics? Not really. Efficiency. The beacon transmits the effects of upgrade modules to nearby friendly entities. Right. Um... Let's hope that this works. Okay, what kind of items do we need? The greens are needed. The greens are also placed in there. Then placed in there. Uh-huh. So that's why it's not working as well. So this one has red stuff. This one has not as much red stuff. That one needs more red stuff. Okay, let's just give it more speed. There we go. So, and even more speed. There. Nice, 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 nice. So, the upgrade beacon. Uh, where is this thing? Down here. Uh -huh. Very simple building, actually. Hmm. Very simple building. I need some reds for that, though. Again. Uh, not as many. Four minutes crafting time. That's a lot. But yeah, I need to get myself some reds. Some reds, some reds, some reds. Reds, 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 reds. Uh, some reds are over here. Not up here. And not up here. And not up here. And also not down there. That's not good. So... I could also just get some copper plates and build it myself. Yeah, because of the raw inserts. Now... The plastic is turned into uh, red circuitry, so if I just... Make sure to get some red thingies here, I can make this quicker. Ah, exactly. So, eight I'm missing. Alright, it's usually in this one. Hmm. The other ones, of course, are not working at all. So, let's get some of these. Ah, come on. Uh, let's take this one. Oh, and I need a few of those assembly machines. Just to get the better assembly done altogether. Wait. 
I wanted uh, to get at least a few upgrades that are somewhat usable. Uh, coal liquefaction. Yeah, that's something that interesting. So coal, uh, heavy oil and steam gets turned into even more heavy oil. Uh, some light oil and some petroleum gas. Nice, 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 nice. Coal liquefaction is a really cool thing. Uh, hmm. But let's see, distractors. I mean, I could use distractors. What do they need? Advanced circuitry. <laughs> no. Then we have destroyers, which probably just go boom. And they need speed modules. No, I'm not going to use those. Um, what, what other drones do we have? I mean, there was a defender drone. What does this one do? Most basic type of combat drone follows and helps the player for a short period of time. Don't know what it does. It's just there. The, ah, uh, this one needs ammunition. <laughs> they all have different ways of getting built and none of them seem to be in any way decent enough. The, uh, insert into armor to damage pushback. Yeah, that's good. That is good. Laser turrets. Aha. Uh -huh. How do you make laser turrets? With batteries and electronic circuits. Yes, um, let's go with laser turrets and get ourselves some automated armor. A four male. Hopefully it works. Uh, one more advanced circuitry. Yes. Let's just take that. So, build the thing. Need more greens though. Uh, yeah, this one sometimes has the output full, which is not a good thing to happen. Uh, definitely not cool. Ugh, really? Why do I suddenly run out of the most basic items whatsoever? Alright, uh, let's just get rid of the swastika solution. Uh, righty. Uh, again, this one is supposed to go down here. Maybe I can just... Uh, huh. Uh, this one has to tunnel through, and then downward, no, that's not supposed to happen. Uh, this one's supposed to go this way, there we go. So this stuff is coming in, gets placed up here, then both of them end up on the same line, and this grabber here can grab stuff all the way in there. Mm, this one is not needed, so this one grabs the green. And this one grabs green and red. And this one grabs also red. Uh, yeah, that is definitely doing it. Uh, why is that one not working? Because I got rid of stuff by accident. Good. This is only placed once it's needed. So that's okay. Uh, this one is used for other recipes and so on. So this is why we have to get it a uh, second output. So that it does not stop going forward. And yeah, this one has some speed modules in it. Do I have another few of them? No. So what about the progress? Does it say anything about that? No. Item ingredient shortage. Of course. This stuff. 4%. <laughs> huh. uh, all three of them are working. That's great. Oh, wait. What about the assembly TFA? Yeah. We need four speed modules to make that work. So that's uh, speed module number one. Maybe I can just make them by hand. Um, advanced circuits. Yeah, let, let's just make them by hand. Uh, I just need some plates. The copper is always passed through, but the iron accumulates. That's strange. Right. Uh, plastics. Plastics, 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 plastics. Bam. Assembler number one. <sighs> so which assembler would be the best? The ones for the actual crafting of the processes? I think so. Yeah, I need another one. Uh, another few speed modules and uh, a bit more plastic set again. Yum. Okay. 
Okay. Better way would be to just facilitate this one with a lot of greens instead. Let the automation do its thing. We're not going to craft anything. Oh, wait. Can I? No. Ah, uh, come on. Wait a minute. Um, where's the other assembly building when you need it? Oh, I haven't built it yet. Ah, uh, cancel it. Wait a minute. There we go. So, I need four speed moves. I got two at the moment. Ah. Uh. And let's just cut this away and continue. There we go. <laughs> Much quicker. Much quicker. Hmm. But what about the speed difference, right? So this is 1.25 and this is 0 0.75. A speed module increases the speed by 20%. Two of them by, of course, 40. Uh, so 40% of this is... Well, no, it's definitely not enough for this crafting speed. Definitely not enough. Oh, wait a minute. Uh, and this one also needs blue stuff, blue stuff, blue stuff. Yeah, it does have a certain amount of it still, which is good. But why? 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 5%? <laughs> I mean, it took ages uh, to get the research going, and now it takes ages to get all of the rocket parts going. I thought it was like, yeah, one rocket part, that's it. No. Much more complicated. And that actually means that uh, there may be a time where I need to defend against aliens yet again. At least one last time. Right. Is this one done? Yes. Finally. So, which ones are we going to go for? Uh, the speed modules? No. Um, actually... Yeah, every supplying building for that. So let's just go for this one and just overrides it. Nice. So this one just needs some greens. But the greens aren't getting made as quickly because it needs a uh, couple stuff. And then you have this stuff. Huh. Okay, let's place a be Ooh. Okay. Uh, that beacon, though. In order to make everything faster, I think I have to place this somewhere over here. Ish. Hmm. Let's stretch this out a little bit. Oh, come on. Stupid beacons. Why do the beacons have to be this way? Could just get me a bit more range. <laughs> hmm. How could I make this one work? I can't, really. Because of the bloody distance. Huh. If I take it... Yeah, if I place uh, the this thing down here, make this one work, then... Uh, oh. There we go. So let's give this one productivity modules? No. But it could. Productivity module cannot be used in Beacon. What? Okay, so this one is supposed to transmit effects, but productivity is not one of them. Right. Uh, let's take the uh, speed modules then. That's working. So you see them on the top. This side over here and the other side down there. Neat. So this makes the plants faster and this thing faster and everything, I think, gets boosted by a ton. Nice. And as a result, this one doesn't need to wait as long. Nice to hope that the placement is actually fairly well done. Nice to hope so. The other way would be to get a slightly better speed module, but uh, resources again, right? Resources. <sighs> okay, but the other thing that I actually wanted to do uh, was get 
another assembly machine done. Which means I need to get a wee bit more copper. There we go. Let's just exchange them one after another in order to increase the speed at which the these things are coming up. Um, yeah, that one can't even be filled quick enough. Interesting. So let's exchange that uh, with one building like that. And take this thing here and place this up here. This might be much, 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 much better. So now it's just going whoop, 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 left, right, left, right, left, right. Oh, look at that. See, well, it's going to be used up immediately. The way it's supposed to be like whoop, whoop. It's not even stopping. That's nice. That's how it's supposed to be. Right. So uh, the other uh, assembly machine will be placed on this one so that this part is always getting filled. Nice, 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 nice. Hmm. So the choke point was somewhere in the middle. And it's these parts. Wait a minute. Uh, let's just take those. Get rid of those. And skip some steps. <laughs> uh. So is that one going? Yeah, this one needs some blues still. Uh, so let's... Halve that. Uh, take that one. 27, 21. Yeah. Did you do, 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 The other way would be to just absolutely go for the scaling without any regards for the uh, pollution of this planet. Uh, but then again, we don't quite want that. There's. I only picked the uh, the fuel out here once, right? The solid fuel is not gonna get made because there's not enough heavy oil coming from here. Like this thing is not gonna be filled quick enough because this thing is not going to produce any more heavy oil. Because some other product in here is not going to be used up immediately. So, wait a minute. Uh, what I have to do in order to get the the stuff out here again uh, would be to place another silo. Um, I just don't know which one. Uh, it could be uh, this silo here. So now this one fills. halfway there. What do you need for another silo? Let's place one. Uh, and then, of course, there's the petroleum. Hmm. That's definitely a weird, weird thing. I'm going to place it right next to it, though. Uh, this one needs more power. It's going to get it from this side. There we go. Hmm. Halfway there, that's completely empty. Hmm. You have to figure out which of those tanks is filled to the brim, and then you have to place a second tank basically next to it. For me, it was basically guesswork. Uh, let's see, let's just skip this a bit. Uh, wait a minute, rotate. There we go. Oh, look at how quickly this one fills. The heavy oil is... Okay. Wait a minute. What's going on with the heavy oil now? It does not end up here. It is supposed to end up here. So what's going on? The... There's no heavy oil in here. No heavy oil up here. No heavy oil in here. Then the... Heavy oil is supposed to be in there. But it just stops. This one is a sideways thingy with the water and it has nothing to do with it. Then... Uh, and if you flush it... 
as a minimal amount get place in here. Maybe what I need to do is just get another of those oil refineries to make that work. That's weird. Why is it not doing anything? Because some other part of it is not getting drained. I mean... This one is gonna get drained. This one is gonna get drained. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Is it the water maybe? No. There's no water needed for that. This one goes up, right, through. Also getting placed in here. Ah, there we go. That may be it. No, fluid ingredient shortage is the heavier. That's missing. That one is always filled to the brim. That may be the reason why it's blocked. Um, this one goes kind of up uh, and about and right and up and up and... Wait a minute. Up, 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 up. Yeah. Hmm, because this one is an output, again, uh, which I combined with the input up here. So, there's a backlash, really. There's a backlash, and the backlash is not a good lash. How do I make that work? I could... Uh... Disconnected from the petroleum tank. Um, that wouldn't be okay. But it would be an interesting solution. It did not solve the problem. Now, nah, th this one is working for some reason. Okay. Uh, this one is also working for some reason. Uh, this one on the other. This is also working. All of them produce stuff, but somehow there's not enough heavy oil coming through here. Alright. Weird. So that's definitely not it. Fluid ingredient shortage. Where is it going to then? Okay, wait. This is where the heavy oil is getting used up first. Then it's getting turned into this stuff. Then it's getting turned into uh, other things. Um, so if I just stop this one then. Then the heavy oil might just accumulate. Because this one cannot be utilized any further. It's still going, but it can't stop. That one is supposed to accumulate. Uh, slowly, but it's also draining. There we go. Alright, so it's only this small building, but it's uh, connected to all of the rest, so that's okay. Uh, now I know why. This was draining the heavy oil before, uh, and this is draining it now. No, it should be okay. And th those are competing with the with the heavy oil. That's why. I forgot to pick up uh, additional plastics, did I? <laughs> right. That was the actual reason I wanted to go there. Get more plastics. And also maybe to get a, another speed module and assembly machine and whatnot. So, 300 something. Nah, let's just let it be. Da da di da 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 do da 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 di da 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 do. And this one right there, sweet. Then I don't have any separate speed modules though. Ah, the pollution is free because this one increases its pollution. Uh huh. Uh. Nice. Wait. Uh, no, there doesn't seem to be too many danger spots except for this one and maybe this one. Ah, damn it. I forgot to place a scanner up here. But this one is around the corner. That's very easy to get to. Maybe I can get... Uh, I would need to place additional landfills in order to make that work. So the green is accumulating, which is perfect. Um, now it's only the red that we need. 
The red is dependent on the greens. Again. Uh huh. Now, as long as this one is producing stuff all the time, then we are good. This one is also producing things. So, in this case, this one is dependent on the copper cabling. The copper cabling is dependent on the copper plates. And the copper plates are... Copper plates are dependent on this stuff, but it just... Stops. Or at least it can't um, keep up with it, if you're honest. So, if I just put copper cables in here, it goes... Um, much better. So, what you need is a dump for all of the, uh, all of the copper plates. So that they are, yeah. If everything is connected together, it's slower than uh, if you have some buffers in between. Oh, wait. I do have a separate copper line, don't I? I have uh, this one with the copper. Thousands of it. That one is going, going, going. Uh, this one needs speed modules. Right. They're getting produced very, very slowly. Okay, this one needs the copper cabling. Yeah, look at how quickly this one goes up. Nice, 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 nice. In this case, everything seems to hinge on the inserters then. <laughs> we need a fast inserter. Sweet. Mm, let's just make them all faster. We need more speed. Oh, what about the, the stuff? One, two, and one, two, three, four. Oh. Picked up all of it by accident. This one goes up here. Hmm. How could I speed this up? Uh, I could. I do need another inserter. This is the thing, right? Uh, yeah, let, let's just make another solution. Let's just get the other solution going. Uh, that is full of items. Uh, and full of other inserters and so on. So let's get this one going again. Uh, just, just for shits and giggles. So, let's build this one. As I said. And we need one of it up here, another one up here, another one up here, another one up there. Then, of course, it needs uh, some other outsiders, really. Let's move all of the items in chests on the other side. Like so. Then we need to connect it, of course, to the grid so that everything is working. And one and two and three and four. And to the grid, of course. There we go. Then... Uh, this one has to be the, uh, ah, what will you be? Uh, yeah, this one could be copper cabling, right? So copper, ca <laughs> copper cabling goes out and in this chest. Then we go for the electronic circuits. Uh, then we have advanced circuits. And then, of course, we have these things here. The speed modules and speed modules. Yeah, very simple. So all of those four very compact all around here. Only thing we need to do now is make sure that there is an overabundance of resources all the time. This was not... Uh, how, how do you empty that immediately? I mean... You can just go in here and do this, then it will work, sure, but come on. That's not the way you do this. Look at how it goes. Look at it go. That is amazing. Anyway, we also need to place in uh, there some plastics. And uh, this one needs greens and reds again. So somehow they have to be recycled. But yeah, wait a minute. If this is greens and reds... Uh, <laughs> wait a minute. I... I think I kind of figured it out. I just have to turn it around. Mm, I can have a few... Let's make a few more of those inserters. I need more iron plates. Okay. Iron plates. This one should be bunched up. Uh, same as that one. Uh, righty. So, anyway. Iron plates. Inserters. Uh, let's go for a few more of those. 
And then it is important to have some other uh, insiders, outsiders whatsoever so that you can place this thing here. Then I somehow need to move this along. That's the iffy bit. That is the actual iffy bit. So let's take this one up here. Uh, this will be the speed module. Supposedly. There we go. Mm, this one is going to be rotated like that. We're going to get a copy that moves things in here. Now the whole thing is moving things about. This one uses, of course, some plastics and some electronic circuits. That's the actual issue now. Um, how do I make this one move things up in here? I can take items out of here, place them in there, and everything is fine again. Then it's getting split up. Do something like that. Everything is nice again. <laughs> Ah, uh, that's sweet. Anyway, the other way will be to just uh, facilitate this one here. All the time. So there's... Ah, yeah, we make a ring around it. Ish. This one goes both directions because this is just so bloody quick. It can fill both of those chests immediately. Anyway, um, it goes both directions. Should actually be some kind of ring, maybe. Anyway, it goes both directions. This one goes this way, this way, and uh, this will need some plastics, which I'm going to get in a moment. And... Wait a minute. This is the actual product that we need, right? So we don't really care what's going on with that. Uh, this one has to be rotated like that. And then we're going to make something like this. Right. Ah. Looks like a perfect solution. Mm. Yeah, kind of a perfect... Except for this one. Oh, no. Uh, hmm. If I... If I... If I... If I... What now? Um, I could take... Yeah, I could take the output of this one. Place it in a chest down here. And from here, I can move all of this to the building up there. It's basically the same as taking this one here and this one here and turning them into one building and that's it. So yeah, uh, we need more plastics. Uh, what else is needed on this thingy here? This one needs nothing more. This one is doing its thing. This one is also doing its thing. This one is you in need of more reds. Sweet. Sweet, 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 sweet. Can't build any more. All right, do we see a progress bar somewhere? No, of course not. Oh, rocket parts, 10 out of 100. Right. So, you need an awful lot of rocket parts for that to work. An awful lot of plastics. Wait a minute. There is an awful lot of plastics. I could just divert the whole thing. Let's automate it. Bada bub. Does that work? Uh, yeah, I think that could work. So let's take that. Automate it with some tunneling. Maybe go about like so. And uh, tunnel through here like so. Go down like. Mm hmm. Yeah, this is the reason why I have so many tunnels. Right. And how am I going to get the item in the center? Uh, hmm. Oh, now I know. Now I know. Wait a minute. Let's go in up here. Then it goes around here. And uh, it has to be on this side here. Then it has to be turned about like so. This one will be destroyed real quick. This one goes away. And uh, there has to be a tunneling happening here. So this one will be placed. Wait a minute. We need the output and a another thingy. So this one goes away. That one goes up here. That one will just go straight through. This will be the inserter for it. Ah ha ha ha. The only problem is at one point it will be full of plastic bars and no other items will be in here so I have to fiddle with it. This is why you need the circuit network to stop it from putting in too many plastic bars. Let's say two stacks of everything, and that's okay. Um, right. 
this is supposed to be the speed module then we are going to take this one uh and place it out here in a chest for buffering good this one goes up here around and everything is fine ha sweet so what does it need now the plastic is going to be fed in automatically the only other stuff i need is copper plates and iron plates and this is where those two buildings come in actually um or maybe maybe even more of them. I mean, this is maxed out. Absolutely maxed out. This is also pretty much maxed out. Same thing here. Same thing there. It just takes very, 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 very long to actually get things moving. So, that was copper. Uh, I need iron. That should be enough-ish. And we have more plastic. There we go. So, question, why is that one not working? This one needs more green. It cannot get green because green is not coming in here. <laughs> right. That is one of its flaws. Ah, oh, that is one of its flaws. A very nice way of doing things. <sighs> Some stuff can be automated in here, uh, but it gets more complicated by uh, by the minute. The idea was to have multiple clusters and just take out all of the items and shovel them in at once. Don't even think about it. Just set up the recipes uh, and the stuff will sort itself out. That was the main idea. Maybe this uh, really is the grid that we uh, should go for instead of this. Very simple solution. Ha. Huh. Really surprised by it. So, how many of them are there? One. Uh, that one takes an as lot of time. Let's see. What do we need? Uh, plastics, iron, and copper. So, that's more iron needed, though. And a bit more plastics. I can just stand there and uh, pick up the items like that. Ooh. Okay, that should be enough. So, let's build this one by hand. Hmm. Yeah, as soon as this one gets filled up with stuff, let's go in. Wait, that was not supposed to happen. <laughs> and more iron, yes. So, there we go. Such an interesting design. Absolutely ingenious. Whoa! Okay, there's um, maybe a bit too much copper cabling being placed in there. Okay, that one has to stop. Uh, that might be enough. And that one has to stop at like this much, maybe. Maybe we can get like that one and that one. And uh, only have two stacks. Uh, like so. There we go. And let's just fill this stuff. Two stacks. Yeah, two stacks are enough. All right. Fascinating. So, if I have an awful lot of those items now, right? Uh, then the idea was to change the recipes. Or maybe I should produce it uh, in, 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 in very large quantities. So that there's a source chest and an end chest. And you just shovel that through. The whole thing. 
Uh, without it making it too complex or whatever. Anyway, this is five. Oh, actually, this is a very good idea. Uh, let's move this over here. And was that the one? Yeah. Okay, what does it need? The blue stuff. Uh, blue stuff is the sulfuric acid. Yeah, I have to take this from somewhere else. Place be there in abundance ish. Five. Uh, that's not enough. This one needs greens. This one needs copper cabling. This one needs copper. Uh, hmm. Yeah, that's an issue. That's an absolute issue now. Where else do we have that stuff? Down there. Not in that large quantity, though. That one needs greens. That one needs copper cabling. That's okay. Copper cabling needs copper. Right. But this one is going to get facilitated. That's okay. Uh, the one down there, not as much. And I don't want to make another pipeline with the sulfuric acids anymore. <laughs> not gonna happen. Uh... Not gonna happen. Actually, maybe you don't even need the pipeline. Maybe you just need the... No, you cannot carry sulfuric acid with you. You really need to connect it with the pipeline. Otherwise, it won't work. Hmm. How many parts? T still 10 out of 10. Right. So, let's get... 25 of those. And... 25 of those. And... Keep some of these. All of those. All of those. There we go. And it bunches up, which is perfect. So the only thing I need to do now is increase this thing's speed. So it rushes through it quicker. Mm, need more iron and more copper for that. And as usual, more plastics. Yeah. Alright, can I make another one? Ah, more plastics. Alright. That's easily done. Goody. Hmm. So, what do we have in here? A lot. This one gets placed in there. This one gets placed in there. There's not as much copper anymore. So let's just fill it with it. Bit more of those. Bit more iron. Right. So. Where does actually come the most of those items come from? So. This one is working. This one is working. This one is working. But how often do they stand still? Right. Yeah, this one is not producing any more greens afterwards. It just goes into this one and this one. Wait a minute. That's strange. That one needs more copper cabling. That one needs more metal altogether. Yeah, wait a minute. Uh, let's just take those two. Ah, uh, wrong building. There we go. Let's just increase it again. So, now what was the resource that we needed a lot of copper plates? Copper plates usually bunch up on uh, this chest. And it is moving. Wait. Let's take this and place this one up here. Make it faster. Just a teeny bit. Actually. <laughs> uh, no, come on. You have to place them by hand, really. Oh, four. Ooh. Pollution. And as like 2.2 something. So this one shreds through its contents extremely quickly. Wait. This one needs more speed modules. Uh, but this one can't be placed in there. So what's the problem? Ah. Oh. That's okay. We need more uh, low-density stuff. 
Uh, bollocks. All right. And more rocket fuel. Let's hope the rocket fuel is going to be made. 32. That's not enough. That's like 3%, if anything. Uh, I need to scale this up a bit larger. What about this one, then? Um, I mean... Plastics. Right. Plastics. Good old bloody plastics. Uh, there's a bit of stuff done there. Hmm. But yeah, the low density stuff is not necessary for the for this stuff anymore. Let's rotate it downwards and uh, yeah, that one will not be fed with it now. Uh, hmm. Yeah, this is just a secondary input then. Let's take that. This one gets placed in here, and it will end up in. Well, another chest, really. Uh, something like that. There we go. And uh, this goes... Oh, wait. Right. Let's just get an additional amount of plastics. A large amount from the chest. Hopefully. Ah, uh, 240. Zoom. So, what about this thing? Uh, it was 32, 35. It does take a little bit. It does take a wee bit of time. Hmm. This one is filling up fairly well. Uh, and this one needs more speed. I think I'm going to produce more speed modules than uh, <laughs> anything else. Uh, that's, that's, that's so iffy. Right, uh, wait a minute, the plastic bars can be placed in this one, together with, of course, copper... Wait, do I have? Yes. Bam. That actually makes no sense. I wanted to get either the plastics or the copper into these things. Yeah, much better. <laughs> so it doesn't uh, compete with itself too much. Bloody low density stuff. Bloody low density stuff. Ah, 20 seconds craft time on me. Oh. oh, okay. The thing is, you need tons of those. Right, that one is accumulating fairly well. Needy, needy, needy. Uh, right. Wait a minute. I, again, did not pick up the rocket fuel. As usual. So, yeah. Let's go with the low density thing. So, it always has a stack of two instances of whatever it needs for the recipe. Right. So, that one is going strong. Um, low density, low density, low density. Copper plate, steel, and plastic bars. I mean, I can make them now, right? There's a ton of stuff that I can drain from it. Copper plate, steel, and plastic bars. So, there is a uh, copper plates, and of course, some um, steel like this. Uh, a minute that one goes up here that one goes up here that will be copper that will be iron uh then we're going to put all of that in here and in there and it needs of course electricity bam and this will be the source Hmm. Copper plate, steel, and plastic bars. Yeah. Dum, 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 dum. Oh wait. Uh, this one can be placed up here. This one up here, and this one down there. 
low density. And this one gets actually placed in here. And those two go away. Nice. And we have a decent amount of buffers in between. Everything's fine. I hope. Ah, everything is fine. Except this one is not going to produce as much now. And the rest of the base is getting drained. Again. Hmm. Anyway, at least now I don't have to walk as far anymore. Hmm, this one's going to be on the inner side. It's always on one side, right. Right, 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 right. Uh, if I put this a little bit further to the right, I can tunnel through this and uh, put all of the low density things in. Hmm, that could work. So which one of those uh, is not working anymore? Ah, the plastics. Let's put another splitter on it then. Mm, where do we put a splitter? I mean, we can put a splitter up here. This will be going down. And this goes away. And the splitter splits this thing yet again. Right. That one... Um, Places all of that in here. That one places an awful lot in this chest. I think 200 is okay. Ah, oh, come on. Come on. Uh, so many inserters are wasted. Ah, uh, because of the uh, the chest there. Um, yeah, the chest. Automation thing. Good. That one is going strong. Maxed out. This one is going to do its thing. Then... Yeah, wait a minute. Uh, once it's on, where does the uh, item actually go to? It has to be... Taken out, of course, via a long inserter, and then moved back on the grid. So let's go that, like that, and a wee bit further down, once. And then we can just tunnel through. Then we can just tunnel through, why not? Uh... Missing underground belt. Uh-huh. Right. No, 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 no. Uh, those two are going somewhere else. Still not possible. Ah, uh, it's still in the way. Wait a minute. Do, 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 do. Right. That one goes a bit to the side. Let's place this again over here. This one goes up here, goes down there, low density stuff. Ha 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 ha, there, there we go. Okay, so the low density stuff is automated now. <laughs> Perfect. Uh, it's just the uh, the blues that take their sweetest time. Unbelievable. Output full. Hmm. Okay, let's make it different. Uh, let's get it a separate output. Um, and that output is going to make sure that the item is always going to be placed somewhere. In a, in a chest or something like that. And there we go. And that's the wrong one there. So... This thing is supposed to go all the time. And uh, just because I have a shortage does not mean I don't need any more of those. 10% uh, points. And you need 10 every time for the recipe. Uh, that means for the remaining 90, uh, I need 900. 900 is... Yeah, 
Yeah, 10 for every percent paid. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 11, 12, 13, and so on. Uh, let's go with a slightly larger chest. Mm, that should do it. Just in case. The speed modules, on the other hand, they can just stack up on the belt. Uh, no one cares. Right. Then... Uh, there's also the the blue stuff. But yeah, this one needs the sulfuric acid. This is why I didn't really want to in interfere with it too much. Hmm... I mean, it says that we need plastic for that, right? In order to turn it into sulfuric acid. Wait. Do I have a chemical building somewhere? No. Uh, I think I have to make this again, right? Yes. <laughs> uh, the raw resources are again missing. As usual. Anyway. So it's just the rocket fuel then. Rocket fuel is somewhere completely different. Right, that one is bunching up a little bit. That one is maxed out, which means we can copy and paste this thing. Uh, yeah, that should do it. Um, there's this thing going up here. Then this thing is going up. You gotta be kidding me. I don't have another one of those anymore. Let's pick up those. That will be copy and pasted, and it needs the light oil input. Let's see, which direction could we go for? That could be a good one. Mm. This is this input, this output, this uh, had another output, whatever. This one is going down, but it had no real way to split, I think. So what I could do with that, uh, move this to the side, maybe like that. And then I can make a little ring around it, uh, and move this one further towards the right, I would say. Uh, wait a minute. Let's take this one away. Because this one needs this kind of, uh, input-output thing. Then this one will be placed there and there. Like this. This one will be placed like there and oh thank goodness it works. It works. Nice. Then I can finish the ring. Wait, this is this is this is not the ring. Uh the ring goes up here. No, wrong direction. It goes up here. Then it just goes around with the uh, normal pipes and so on, like that. And then the ring goes around like that. Aha! Uh -huh. Then, if I want to, I can just put another building in the center or something like that. Maybe even fill out or whatnot. So, this one is going to be facilitated. This one is going to be facilitated. Then these inserters are going to go crazy. And I could just take that and place it on this belt here. Here, in order to make this, I have to... How and where would I tunnel through? Um, I could tunnel through here. Yeah, that could work. Uh, I just need a few more belts and a few more underground thingies. And I need to exterminate some more enemies. Uh... At least the pollution cloud is somewhat okay. Is it? To what? Huh. Yeah, some of the pollution cloud is okay. I don't know why. That's weird. Maybe because all of the buildings don't get any more resources. It stops itself from polluting too much. That might be it. So, uh, this one goes all the way up here. Let's just let it fill things. 1%. This is so quick. And then... Boop, done. Right. So how would we get the stuff back in here? I mean, uh, it's 50 something. Uh, yeah, let's just do it like so. I mean, something gets uh, made directly on site and once it bunches up, then I can just recycle it a bit. 
Right, so it's only the low density things. Low density stuff was somewhere else. It's low density stuff was somewhere else. Wait, low density stuff needs copper. Let's just go back again and suck up on that. On the other hand, I could just make another one like that, but I already have some nice setups. I could... Wait a minute. Turn this down, left, and upwards. Hmm. That could work. That could absolutely work. Right. Um, this will be where this is going. And... This is where the plastic is going. Right. It's only the one in the center that's not getting any. Hmm. Right. Plastic bars. Huh. Wait. When did I get this? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Silver in there. What is that? Two. That can take a little while. Just because of this stupid recipe. Wait. Uh, what's the recipe for this thing? Rocket parts. Rocket parts are made in here. Huh. But can you make them yourself or can you only make them at the rocket side? Like there's the rocket silo. And rocket parts are no intermediate thing. Nope. They kind of behave like the fluids themselves. Wow. 20. Take ages. God, no. Okay. I have to upgrade the low density stuff. Um, so that's coming from this side here. And we all know how it's done uh, via copy and paste. Uh, really easy. Wait. Uh, I need to make sure that I have all of the buildings available. Uh, I have furnaces. I don't have those inserters here. They need. Steel and copper for that to work. Okay, why is there no copper cabling in here? Wow. It immediately gets used up for other stuff. Anyway, uh, I need more copper. Four. All right. Let's build this thing yet again, like that. I think that could be it. Uh. Bam. Nice. What's ne what's needed? Uh, entities are missing the insiders. Uh, ID. Let's just build another one and right next to it. Bada boom. So, any other entities missing? Any other. Come on. <laughs> it just powers through. Let's just hope I have enough ingredients. Ah, nice. So, this one here uh, will be placed further on that line. The plastic will be facilitated. Then this stuff will just accumulate on the far side like that, and everybody's happy. 
Okay, so low density is coming up. It just takes a ton of time. A bit too long. Bam. Better. Uh, the copper is not going to get supplied, though, for some reason. That's not enough. It's not enough copper. Interesting. Very interesting. Again, we have a copper problem. Cannot reach. Thank you. Uh, one, two, one, two. So, this one will be only that full. And this one will be only that full. And this one will be only... That full. Could accumulate a wee bit more. But uh, the handoff is definitely far too quick. Uh, the thing is I'm placing too many of those furnaces again and I don't place this in the correct enough manner. It's annoying. Okay. At least the steel is always getting supplied. Hmm. Just because you only need a little bit of steel. Thousands of copper, very little steel. Alright, let's just be happy that it somewhat works. And take this one. So, bam bam, and that's full. That's not quite full there. Perfect. Uh, that one's going to take it. That one's going to take that too. That one there too. What I'm going to do with the steel. Right. That one's just going to get moved around again. Uh, let's see. Very little steel, very little steel, very little steel. Hmm. Okay, this stuff is fairly automated right now. It's just a matter of time. The <laughs> laser turret take ages again. Wait, why? Uh, there's none of them that works. And the only one that... Oh, no. No, wait a minute. This one says storage 5 out of 32. And this one is... Uh, th yeah, th this one is not filled yet. There's just not as much military stuff coming in because iron, I think. No, there's no problem with iron. There's a lot of iron. Then there's just not a lot of iron getting turned into iron plates then, right? No, this one is getting handed off. This one is happening there. Huh. Okay, the military stuff is not just not going to be produced in these large quantities. That's it. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Let's take that and place that all the way up here again. Good, so it's only the rocket fuel that's missing. And yeah, I need to get the belt. Where's the car? Where did I park it? Uh, somewhere over there. How much rocket fuel did we get? Uh, 33. Mm, it's 3% points. 3.3, but we round down. Yeah, I can just make another one like that. Um, maybe sideways a little bit. How could we do this? In this case, I can turn this down even, uh, so that the complexity does not increase too much. Um, but wait a minute. I have to get access to this building's heavy... Heavy solids. 